गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन योर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम बैक विद लेसन नंबर एट एडजेक्टिव रीड दिस सेंटेंसेस बिफोर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट दीज वॉट आर एडजेक्टिव वील कंटिन्यू विद द रीडिंग ऑफ दीज सेंटेंसेस विच आर गिवन एट द टॉप रीना हैज अ रेड अम्ब्रेला हियर इन दिस सेंटेंस वी कैन सी दैट the color of the umbrella is given it's defining the umbrella the they are telling us here that reena's umbrella is red there are four cushions on the sofas in this sentence we are getting the information that the cushions are four in number the doll is pretty they are telling us about the doll how she looks the words in bold describe the nouns umbrella cushions and doll the words in bold letters like red four and pretty they are discuss uh, describing the nouns like umbrella cushions and dolls all dear students all these words which describe a noun or a pronoun are known as adjectives adjectives describe a noun or a pronoun they tell us more about people place or thing adjectives can be used before a noun dear student as you can see here that i have marked this definition already and i have also marked the examples you have to write these de uh, this definition and these examples in your fair uh, fair copies to make notes so that you can go through it afterwards example my brother and i take a long way long a walk take a long walk Meher has an elegant dress. Gorav is a gifted musician. As I have told you that adjectives describe a noun or a pronoun. They tell us more about a people or about a person, place, animal or thing. Adjectives can you uh, here as it is written here. Adjectives can be used before a noun also. And examples are my brother and i take a long walk here here the word long is describing their walk meher has an elegant dress the word elegant is describing meher's dress how it look how it looks gorav is a gifted musician adjectives can also be used after a verb this is a delicious watermelon this word delicious is uh, used after a verb and it is coming here uh, before this noun watermelon and it is describing it this watermelon is delicious look here you can note uh, you can see this uh, this watermelon is delicious the word delicious which is an adjective it's coming after the verb is here in, in this rule adjectives can also be used after a verb they are telling us the same thing and they have shown us in the example also that it is possible to use adjectives after verb leela has a heavy book see in general sense we always write um, adjectives before uh, adjectives before Uh, before the nouns but they are telling us that adjectives can be used after verbs also that's why they are showing us in two different ba ways leela's book is heavy it is a hot day the day is hot in both these sentences we can see the word heavy and hot which are adjectives they are being used after the verb is 